So respiratory distress is defined as a combination of tachypnea, which is respiratory rate more than 60 breaths per minute, associated with subcostal or intercostal recessions. Uh, the indrawing, which is due to the complaint chest wall being pulled by the stiff lungs. And grunting, which is forced expiration against a closed glottis. So you hear the oh, oh sound, which is grunting, and the baby is trying to keep the lungs open by providing positive pressure on its own initiative. So if you have any two of the above, it constitutes respiratory distress. The common causes of respiratory distress include uh, respiratory distress syndrome or hyaline membrane disease, which is now called surfactant deficiency lung disease. This is mainly a disease of prematurity. We have transient tachypnea of newborn, which is also called uh, type two respiratory distress syndrome or wet lung. We have meconium aspiration pneumonia or syndrome, and we have congenital or acquired pneumonia, which may be related to infection or aspiration. In addition, other factors like cardiac disorders, cardiac failure may produce uh, respiratory distress, and uh, we have to be watching for other sources of respiratory distress. Rarer causes may lead to severe lung disease, which doesn't respond to the routine treatment. So one example is the surfactant apoprotein B deficiency, which can be inherited. We have congenital malformations like congenital diaphragmatic hernia, cystic adenomatoid malformation, airway abnormalities and vascular strings are usually lead to strider, but a collapse of the lung may result in respiratory distress as well. And we may have tracheoesophageal fistula. The most common form is associated with esophageal atresia. 